come on a walk with me. Fall is the most beautiful season. Foggy, dark, cozy, colorful. The leaves transform their colors before your eyes. Striking yellow, blood red, fiery orange, vibrant green. It's a time of change. But what sparks this change? Why do leaves change their colors anyway? Let's start with the basics. Leaves are green because they contain chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the site of photosynthesis, the process through which plants convert the sun's energy into sugar. As well as the green pigment chlorophyll, plants also contain yellow and orange pigments, carotenoids and xanthophylls. But during most of the growing season, these colors are masked by large amounts of green pigment. But in the fall, the days get colder and darker. It would be very costly and difficult for trees to continue nourishing their leaves throughout the cold, dark winter season. Plants are sensitive to the amount of darkness of each day, and when the nights reach a certain threshold length, it's like a switch is flipped inside the tree. A layer called the obsidian layer begins to form at the base of the stem of each leaf cutting off the water and nutrient supply to the leaf. It also prevents the transport of glucose or sugars produced through photosynthesis in the leaves to travel to the rest of the plant. When this happens, the leaves stop replenishing chlorophyll and it's quickly broken down and degraded. The green pigment begins to disappear from the leaves. As the green pigment breaks down, the yellow, orange, and red pigments begin to show through. Let's talk about what these pigments are. Number one, carotenoids. Carotenoids create orange and yellow-orange hues. It's found in fruit and veggies like corn, bananas, and of course, carrots. Carotenoids are present in the leaves throughout the growing season, but only show through once the chlorophyll breaks down in the fall. Same with number two, xanthophylls, which produce those bright yellow hues. Number three, anthocyanins. These are red pigments found in red apples, cherries, strawberries. These pigments are formed by a reaction between the sugars in the leaf's obsidian layer and molecules in the sap. The color produced depends on the pH of the sap. More acidic sap means a brighter red. Less acidic means a more purple color. Anthocyanins are produced only in the autumn, only by some trees, and only under certain conditions. Scientists propose several functions that these pigments might serve. They may help recover nutrients from the leaves before they fall off, preparing the tree for the next growing season. They may also act as built-in sunscreen and bug spray for the leaves. This is important because leaves are extra sensitive to damage as they're shutting down for the winter. You might also notice that each autumn is different. Some years the colors might be brighter than others. Temperature, light, and the water supply can all influence autumn colors. Cool temperatures and brighter sunlight boost the production of anthocyanins, meaning brighter red. Dry weather also increases concentration of sugar in the sap. Less water means more concentrated sugar. This also boosts anthocyanin production, again, brighter red. On the other hand, early frost will literally freeze the production of these pigments. This damages the leaves, causing a blander autumn season. Fall is a beautiful time. There's so much to see and so much to learn. So step outside, roam through the trees, Look around, science is everywhere. Also, remember to subscribe. See you next time.